In this video I'm going to be showing a little bit of the unlimited rotation feature of the Modius controller. To start with, I need to update the limits and make certain that they are uh, it is NAN for both the minimum and maximum because we're going to be spinning it a lot and we don't want to have any limits. Now one of the challenges with the previous formulation was that low speed maneuvers like this one, say if I move at 0.01 revolutions per second. This worked fine around position zero, but I'll also plot the position and the velocity on alternating axes. And so this worked fine near position zero, but if I, if you were offset, say, to position 64, the same command would not work properly. Whereas now, velocity performance, velocity control performance is uniform across the entire position space and you can command positive, negative velocities and it works fine. You can't see it on the video but you can accurately command velocities as low as 0 .0001 revolutions per second. Said you can't see this move, it moves uh, way too slowly to be visible on camera. But the other thing we can do now is have high speeds also across the full range um, including fast maneuvers and it doesn't matter what position you're at. The velocity control is uniform as long as you don't specify an absolute position. So I can run at 50 revolutions per second indefinitely. Uh, one thing this does permit, which I will uh, first stop, is the current position is wraps around at uh, 32,767, so it's floating point, but it's like a 16-bit integer. And so if we start near there, say at 32,500, so that resets our position to 32,500, and then we command a 50 rotation per second spin, we'll see that it'll eventually wrap around right now to negative 32,767 and the velocity control performance is identical across the wraparound point positive negative doesn't matter what position you're at the velocity control performance is uniform now when you command positions the available resolution does change across the range of absolute positions that are supported however even at the extreme position of 32,767 the minimum delta in the floating point value is still around three degrees, which is, if you care about absolute positioning that far off, hopefully you don't need to also have uh, positions finer than three degrees. Now, the 30,767 is before gearboxes, so if you have a gearbox that will be redu a reducing gearbox that will be reduced, but it's still a relatively large absolute limit, and if you use the special value or NAN for the speed, it, the current position does not matter and you can run velocity control either um, with the integrator or with n in pure velocity mode by specifying a proportional term of zero so this is pure velocity mode so if I slow it down it won't try to catch up the position whereas if you leave the proportional term intact it will do its best to keep that exact same position even with the velocity which makes the velocity be more uh, control be much more rigid and is more like a velocity controller with an integrator an uh, integrator with no limit so if that's what you want you should be certain that's what you want and that's what I've got thanks